Okay, I tried about 10 years ago to do a Taurus booth review. It did not work out because they hate me. Time heals all things, and now they don't know who I am, so it's perfect. I'm here in the Taurus booth doing a review. Well, no, we still know who you are. <laughs> kind of. Yeah, I do. But that's because I've been around for a while. So, yeah, I'm Caleb Giddings. I'm the marketing manager with Taurus USA. Uh, starting with our new products, we just launched this right before SHOT Show. Okay. This is the 327 Defender Toro. So this is an, a line extension to our Optics Ready Revolver. We were the first company to do a properly Optics Ready Revolver where it's built from the ground up to mount the dot to it. This one's especially cool because it's a 327 Federal Magnum, which means you can run 32 mag, 32 long, all of the other various 32 cal cartridges. Like all proper defensive revolvers, it has a bobbed hammer. So that way you don't have any hammer spurs to get in the way to foul your draw or anything like that. This one's got a really nice trigger in it, like most of our DA triggers. And if you don't want to run it with the dot, you've got a really nice high contrast Ameriglow night sight in it. I love that sight, Ron. Oh yeah, the Ameriglow sights love are that. really, really nice. I'm excited about these too, dude. Yeah, so. Those look really good. So this is the third extension to our executive grade lineup. We launched the executive grade uh, two years ago. We launched with the 856, which is a six shot 38 special. We did it with a bobbed hammer. A lot of the feedback that we got from consumers was, why isn't it a 357 Magnum? And I like to cock the hammer back when I shoot. So we said, all right, here, we'll make that for you. So this is the 605 executive grade, five shots of 357 Magnum. Just like all the other executive grades, it has a hand-built, hand-tuned action. You can fire it in double action, which is what I recommend, but it also has the option to go into the single action mode where you've got about a three and a half pound trigger pull in single action. Very impressed with it. I have not shot it yet. I want to test it. Gunnies get one of these so I can test it. Uh, yeah. Is that the only barrel length that you have on it? Yeah, so the executive grades are gonna be uh, set up basically the way, you, the uh, there's no real options, it's either you get the executive grade or you go get something else, right? Gotcha. If you want a two inch gun, we do sell two inch guns in the 605 line, but not on the executive grade. Is that a three? Yeah, so these are these are three inch guns. So the Defender Toro, the executive grade, both of those are three inches. How has the show received those so far? Oh, just fine. They're digging them. Yeah, the executive grade has been popular since we launched it. We have the 856, we have the Judge executive grade, and now we have the 605. Where are they made? Uh, they're made in Brazil, so we have a special executive grade production room where it's literally one gunsmith, one gun. Gotcha. So that means that one gunsmith gets the, the fabricated parts and does all of the hand fitting, hand assembling on those guns right there from start to finish. Uh, does it have investment cast stuff in it? Uh, no. Well, it how's the steel made? Is it forged? So the frames, the frames are all forged steel. Yes. Awesome. And we do use metal injection molding for small parts, but we are the, uh, without without question, one of the best producers of metal injection molded parts in the industry. Okay. Fair enough. Our entire BIM facility in Brazil is about as big as uh, the front of this room to the back of it. It's huge. Yeah. Now moving on. Our last you go quick on these. My guys won't care about them. They won't. That's because that means they don't have any taste. Uh, Who doesn't care be. about a single action? You know my audience. So what can I say? <laughs> That's why they watch me. By the way, they so, have no taste. What we have here is the Taurus Deputy. This is our newest single action revolver. It's available in 45 Colt or 357 Magnum. It's a looker, I gotta say. It is gorgeous. It's beautiful. So this finish is a black oxide that we polished to this satin black finish. It looks like one of those old school blue finishes that took right. forever. Right, and this we can do as a machining process, basically. Dude, it looks great. Yeah. I gotta these say, are, it looks amazing. Great. I keep thinking this gun is begging for like an ivory stock it to contrast yeah. with this black finish. Easy to do, I bet. Oh. I bet it takes the Peacemaker stock. Oh, yeah. Uh, so there's three different patterns for Peacemaker stocks. Mm. This does take one of them, though. Cool. We're going to have aftermarket grips available in the, on the Taurus web yeah. store pretty soon. So, yeah, this is available in 45 Colt, 357 Magnum, and you can either get it with the four and uh, three quarters barrel length or you can go to the five and a half inch barrel. That length. would be my preference. Absolutely. I'm just saying. A little bit longer barrel, a little bit more sight radius, helps manage the recoil a little bit better. Okay, be TMPers, Pierce, let me know if I'm wrong. If, to say, hey, no, we love single action. We want to see more single action. If I see like a hundred comments to that, guess what I'm going to test? The Taurus Deputy. Absolutely. We'll happily send you one of those. Now, you said before we started filming that you had some questions about the GX4. Yes, sir. It's over here. Well, Let's go look. Some of them are over there, but the okay. newest one is here. Yeah, because I tested a GX4, as a reminder, it was not 
It was mostly reliable. It did have a couple issues. I got to say, have, uh, just uh, since I don't, I'm not familiar with that. Were those issues with certain brands of ammo? I can't remember what I shot. I just think it was like failure, failures to go into battery. So and I and I know if I had shipped it back to you, you would have got it going 100. percent So on some of the very early production guns, the chambers were a little bit shallow. So if the round was loaded long, or the OAL was a little bit out of spec, or just slightly different from like mass market American ammo, okay. you would have issues with the gun going into battery. Can I go to your website and know uh, which generation I have, and do they have? Do I have an improved version? Uh, Is there a way to know that on your website? Not on the website because it was something that was corrected very, very quickly. If you send the, if your gun doesn't go into battery with certain brands of ammo, send it back to us, and okay. we'll send it, and we'll send back a repair one. Has it been a problem or no? Not really, no. I've only heard, the only reason we know about it is because of the testing process. Yeah. And we had some samples out that we got feedback on. And I'm like, oh, well, let's just fix this problem. So, for example, on the new ones, like the GX4 Carry, which is longer slide, longer grip, no issues feeding, no reliability issues whatsoever. The gun runs like a tank now. Good to know. Maybe time to revisit it. Absolutely. We'll see what happens. I will tell you that... Your TX-22 is an industry leader. The TX-22 is the best. It is an industry leader for price, for weight, for rounds capacity. I did have one that had reliability problems, and you guys got it tuned up, and it's 100% now. It's the, I mean, and that's the thing with a 22, right? Like getting it's a, 20, a 22. They're not always going to run great, but the TX-22 has some kind of magic in it because that gun works, and it works reliably, and it works efficiently all the time. I have three of them, and they all run. Really? Yeah, absolutely. I have the big competition model with the muzzle brake on it and the red let's dot. Let's look at what we're Oh, yeah, here. Let's go. It. We have a whole wall of that. I bet that's a perennial bestseller for Taurus, Caleb. Oh, it is. This is without a doubt a category meter. So Such a good looking gun good looking. too. So this is so good looking. This one's my favorite. This is the TX22 Competition Steel Challenge Ready. Yep. So literally all you have to do with this gun, it comes with everything except the red dot. It comes with the muzzle brake, cutout slide, all of that. You put a red dot on it, you're ready to go shoot a steel challenge. There gosh. is one other thing you need to do with that gun, and that is learn how to shoot well. Yeah, it does help. <laughs> Uh, so we have some friends, so our friends over at Tandem Cross yeah. have a Tandem Cross limited edition of this with a flat face trigger and some other really neat parts on it. The gun's fantastic, but my favorite gun in the lineup is the Compact. Love so it. this is the exact same size as the GX4 carry. Yeah. So you can have a 9mm carry gun and a 22 trainer. It's got a dot that mounts to the slide. This one holds 13 rounds of 22 in our awesome. little magazine. Yeah, these things are great. I bet these are selling like crazy. Oh, they sell like hotcakes. Totally. Yeah, absolutely. I love that color too. That's a great yeah. color. And the nice thing is, so all of these are produced in our United States facility in Georgia. All of so them. all of the TX-22s, every single 22 that you see here is made in America. Well done. Look at the different flavors, team peers. You got gray here. Uh, I've used it as a competitive offering, like against the SIG P322, which by the way, choked a lot on me. I'm just saying, I, it I, did. I have no comments about the reliability Agree. of our competitors. Agree. But now I got pushback from my guys because they say, hey, mine's 100%. Maybe that's another one. I'll go re-review. We'll see. But TX-22, don't forget it. The price is just amazing, Oh, yeah, too. absolutely. And again, because so as a, as a company, Taurus is extremely vertically integrated. We control a lot of our own production processes yes. and our own parts creation processes. So if I had to outsource as much stuff as another company, this TX-22 would cost $200 more. Oh, great. But I don't because we make it all in-house. Yeah, and they're super lightweight. By the way, that lightweight makes them, like I was kidding about, they're a little bit harder to shoot because they are so lightweight. Mm -hmm. Your mechanics have to be good. Your grip has to be good. Your side alignment, good. Your trigger control, good. If you if you do all the above, you'll be amazed at how they hit. Absolutely. Uh, how about your full-size combat and mid-size combat 9 millimeters? I'm a big fan, by the way. And I, I actually defend you guys against uh, a lot of people who criticize me that the G3, for instance, is not a legitimate combat handgun. Um, you know, I don't know for combat, but I'll tell you for concealed carry, it's hard to beat this gun, especially at the price point. So the G3 Toro, this is the base the base G3 Toro, Toro is our Taurus Optics Ready option. This gun's got an MSRP of 430 bucks. You'll see them at dealers for, you know, under 300, right? Yeah. They're And they're fantastic. I have one of these that's got it's done a lot of rounds. I think I've only got like a thousand rounds on it, but no issues whatsoever. And then if you want something that is, you know, fully tactical from the right out of the box, we have the G3 Tactical. Again, optics ready, suppressor height sights, 
threaded like for any it. sort of muzzle attachment. You can get it with a 15 round flush fit magazine, or you can get it with a 17 round magazine that has a spacer on it. And again, Daddy these, like. These guns run. Uh, I'll tell you, I've ran my G3s pretty darn hard. I don't remember any stoppages on them at all. No, the gun's a I'm tank. I'm talking with steel case ammo, too. Yeah, the gun's a tank, and it's where it's 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 Lavender an lady. extremely well vetted product we've had the g2 g3 family for quite some time so we've had the opportunity to make sure that the guns work exactly the way they're supposed to how is it received overall how does it sell overall the g3c for example is routinely on the list of gun brokers best selling guns oh, so geez. yeah these things you know because again your, your price for one of these in a gun dealer could be as low as $250. And what we've done is we've made a 12 plus one nine mil that's $250 that works. Who makes your magazines for you, Caleb? Our magazines are OEM'd by Metgar. Our sight dovetails are Glock sight dovetails. So if you want, nice. but we use steel sights, not cheap plastic right. ones. So, but if you want to change out the sights, aftermarket sights for Glocks fit these. Uh, have you as a company Save ever them. done an endurance job, test wow, on the G3 product right and do you if yes, not will you mostly. Oh, yeah, we've done it so when we did you shoot? when what we brought happened? when we brought the G3 tactical to market before we brought the gun out we did a couple of we did two guns that we took to 10,000 rounds each nice no issues no issues yeah and they kept shooting just fine Okay, I like it. I like it a lot. I've said as much. I'm a fan of your full size format. That's a great looking one right mm -hmm. there. Look at that, dudes. You got tan green, du uh, dual tone right there. So FDE, great looking gun. Optics ready. The price is extremely low. I think it competes very well in the market. I really do. The G3 product is legit. Oh, yeah, it's absolutely great. Yeah. How about on that back wall? So, Those are. That's an older gun, right? So yeah, we, we will always keep the G2. Um, but the G, so the G2 is the very like basic entry level model. Um, the sights aren't quite as good. It doesn't have as much, uh, it doesn't quite have as nice as features as the G3. But we'll always keep that around because there's a place in, in the market for it. Now I think your viewers like 10 millimeter though. Oh yeah. You know what's funny? I'm so glad you reminded me because I had a note to drop by and check out your 10mm. So this year we launched two new line extensions to the TH series. So we launched the TH45 earlier this year, and then right before SHOT Show, we dropped the TH10. All of the TH guns are gonna be traditional double action, single action. So first trigger pull, long double action, second trigger pull, single action. However, unlike a lot of other guns in that lineup, the TH10 safety can be engaged, carried like a 1911 cocked and locked, or work as a decocker. Sick. Very Beretta-like. Yeah. Uh, well, old school Beretta. Old school. Yeah. So we've had the TH series for quite some time, had it in 9 and 40. We expanded it with 45 and then 10 millimeter this year. 10 holds 15 rounds, all ambidextrous control. So if you're left-handed, we've got everything on the other side of the gun as well, easy to reach. I'm sorry, there's a hot chick to just pass by and I was checking her out. That's How many fine. rounds does that hold again? 15 in the 10 mil, 13 in the 45. Wicked. Which one sells better? Uh, these are, these are both new launches, so we don't have really good sales data on it yet, but the internet chatter says 10 mil. 10 mil is going to sell extremely well. I'm going to get one of those and test it, guys. Fingers crossed if it's 100% reliable and if, it, and if it survives a 400 foot drop from the Cessna airplane test, it's going to be a high recommend. Awesome. I made that last test up. That's I don't fine. do that. Throw guns out of airplanes. No. I don't care. Well, I have a thing called the curse of the desert, and it is real. It's funny. Guns that work every great everywhere else come out to TMP, and they have and problems. Yeah. I don't know what the hell is going on. conditions. Could be all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, I will say that I've ran these TH9s. They're great guns also. Mm -hmm. Really yeah, excellent guns. Yeah, the TH series is one of like our 
I mean, it's really a sleeper. Most people know us for the uh, most people know us for the G3s and yes. the GX4s, yes. but the THs are phenomenal guns that are reliable. I have a TH40 that I got because I have a ton of 40 ammo laying around, right. and that gun's over 2,000 rounds now, and it just keeps crunching along. I'm a fan. Contrary to the tactical elitists, I'm actually a fan. Now, maybe you guys go, oh, come on, nothing fancy. Would you really trust your life to one of these guns? Well, the answer is having tested them, yes. There's several of them that are in defensive systems with me right now. So there's your answer. Awesome. Are they the absolute best combat pistol in the world? Well, debatable. I mean, probably not, but it, who is? That's a battle you're never going to solve. Yeah, absolutely. You'll never solve that argument. Yeah, so do you have any police departments using any of your handgun products? Not in the United States, but we do have guns in service with agencies in Brazil, obviously, uh, as well as South Africa and the Philippines. Okay, that'd be good. Uh, any long guns you want to talk about? Anything else? So we did just launch our first ever bolt action rifle this year. Is it a 22? No, it's a 308. Oh, wicked. Yeah. If you'd like to see it. It's yeah, can right we here. make our way over there? I don't want to push anyone out of the way or anything. No, that's all right. We're not that special. Oh, yeah. Nice. So this is the Taurus Expedition. It is the first ever bolt action rifle that Taurus has launched. It's got a cold hammer forged barrel. It's in 308 Winchester. It's threaded from the factory, so you can attach muzzle brake suppressors, stuff like that. It uses the Accuracy International Magazine standard. Good, so these great are magazine. Great. These are readily available from Magpul, from other sources. It has a Remington 700 action, so drop in aftermarket triggers for the Remington 700 will drop into this thing. But really, like the cool, very thoughtful feature is all the stuff that's built into the stock. So the stock is planed off and flat, so if you're resting on a bag or shooting out of a gun saddle, you don't get any rotation. It also has these M-lock attachment points down here, so if you want to put an Arca rail or something like that on there, you can. And last but not least, we actually worked with Spartan Precision so that we've molded the Spartan Precision bipod attachment point directly into the bottom of the stock. Is that bipod included? No, the bipod is not included in this model. There may be some packages at later. Is that, that your have, bipod, though? This is a Spartan Precision bipod okay. that they've co-branded with us. I like that bipod. Oh, they're fantastic. That's freaking sick. MSRP on this is is under a thousand dollars. So with the right ammo, you've got a gun that'll shoot under an MOA for under a grand. What's the weight on it? I would uh, say probably six. It's under seven pounds, unloaded with no optic. Half maybe with that barrel profile. With an optic and a mag and a full magazine, it's about seven and a quarter. Okay, what barrel length is that? Uh, Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. Yep. And that's a three hundred eight chambering, right? Yes, there? it is. Yeah. Cool. Uh, the bolt looks like it'd be really smooth. It is. So it's got a 60 degree bolt throw so it won't interfere with any uh, optics or anything like that. And bolt travel is very efficient. Trigger's good? Trigger's great. It's nice. adjustable from the factory. We set them at about two and a half, three pounds. Okay, bolt action rifle from Taurus. Why now? Why not? Good answer. Why not? So that means there's a market for it, right, absolutely. Caleb? Absolutely. Yeah, there absolutely is a market for it. You know, as a company, we like to, you know, we are moving... You know, the as a company, the our big drive right now is to make products that we would want to take into the field with us, right? Ooh. I'm a diehard revolver shooter. I carry a revolver as my EDC. That's part of the reason why some of those revolver products exist. We our CEO is a I mean, he's killed something on every continent except Antarctica, right? Mm -hmm. And he loves to hunt, so he wanted to build a rifle that he would take into the field with him, and that's how the expedition was born. Nice. Uh, so I I'm going to go out on a limb, and I'm going to say that's going to be a seller for you. Absolutely. Yeah, we're very excited. Be a seller for Response you. has been great at the show. And the fun part is it's going to street at about $257, guys, so just watch for the sales. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Yeah, I love the barrel on that, too. It's is beautiful. that CHF, Cold Hammer Force? Or no? It is, yeah. So, okay. and what you see, and this pattern that you see. You probably told me that, but I I might have. I, I don't remember. This pattern that you see is actually an artifact of the hammer forging. So what happens is, is the barrel gets turned in the forge. This gets marked into it. A lot of manufacturers will mill that off. We decided it looks cool, so we were going to keep it. Well done. Thank you. Uh, another revolver I love is, I hope I get the model number, the 256 Cobalt. It's like a little snub. Oh, that's old. We don't have that one anymore. Yeah, I'm yeah, crying when you just, because I have one, and it's oh, nice. a great little gun. Shot great. Really just as good as a Smith & Wesson. Awesome. Did he just say that? Yeah, I just said that. Yeah, the aluminum frame stuff is good. And I think you've come 
Taurus, I think, has come a long way because when I first started TMP like 15 years ago or so, uh, there were some products that didn't test so well. We had some breakages, but it seems like now I don't see that anymore. Yeah, I would put, especially our, especially our revolver products, I would put those on par with anything that anybody yeah. else is making right now. And our semi-auto line, like, I would put it heads up against anything coming out of Six Hour or Springfield or Smith & Wesson or even Glock. Like, I think it competes on, it competes on par in performance and features and beats the hell out of everybody else on job, price. Dude. Uh, another revolver product I tested, I haven't posted it yet, great Great gun is the Lavender Lady 10 shot 22 long rifle. We don't have that anymore either. Great job, Taurus, discontinuing <laughs> that one. What a great gun that is, by the way. It was accurate, reliable, and really fun to shoot. Tell me some more guns that you like so we can discontinue those too. <laughs> I better not uh, throw some shade at anything else because they'll probably be discontinued. Let's end with these big board guys right here. All right, so we launched this last year at SHOT Show. This is the Raging Hunter in 460 Magnum with All a 10-inch barrel. So Great for concealed carry, by the way, absolutely. guys. Absolutely. This is, this is my EDC. Uh, so what we do with the, the reason for the 10-inch barrel is this gives you near rifle-like ballistics with that 460 cartridge. Awesome. You're getting about 2,000 feet per second off of a 300-grain projectile. The gun shoots flat out to 150 meters, and with this muzzle brake, felt recoil to the shooter is closer to a 44 Magnum. Wow. Excellent. Uh, I wouldn't want to buy that ammo though. I'm sure it's kind of pricey. It's like four bucks a round. It's yeah. crazy. Almost but... like 50 BMG. Yeah. Guys are buying that then. Absolutely, yeah. 460 is a super popular hunting caliber. This gun, we cannot make them fast enough to no keep No kidding. Oh, it's back ordered up. No again. kidding. Yeah. Wow. That's something that I don't really touch that much. Actually, I wouldn't say at all because I've done some 44 mag, but maybe 500 Smith. That chambering, maybe one day, 500 Magnum, I'll go and visit it. There you go. Be fun. Absolutely. All right. I know you're tired. I know <laughs> Caleb has done like so many booth reviews. Thank you so much right, for making pleasure. time for us today. I'm glad uh, you, you stopped by. You did a by. fantastic job representing the Taurus project. Hey, and I'm glad that uh, you were, you know, it took 10 years, but you were finally able to get back <laughs> in here for a booth review. Yeah, it was a good one. Thanks. That's uh, Caleb with Taurus making some great guns for uh, really reasonable prices. Over and out.